My name is George Doyle, and I'm going to be analyzing a philosophical lecture called The Moral Side of Murder by a Harvard professor, Michael Sandel. However, before I do that, I would like to tell you a little bit about myself so that you may understand where my opinions come from. First, um, I'm working full-time as a flock advisor for Purdue Farms on Virginia's Eastern Shore. I'm also finishing my last semester in agricultural sciences online um, while I'm home taking care of my father. Now that you know a little bit about myself, let me get into the detail of the lecture. I believe that Dr. Michael Sandel's goal of this lecture was to awaken the restlessness of reason within his students so that they can see and determine for themselves where it leads. He accomplishes this by incorporating several scenarios and philosophical thought experiments into his lecture which force his listeners to question what is morally just within them. These scenarios include a runaway trolley car, a surgeon operator with a dilemma, and four shipwrecked sailors. However, the incident with the runaway trolley car was my favorite, so I will elaborate on that one. Michael Sandel questions the moral side of murder by presenting a case to his students. This case is about a runaway trolley car that is headed towards five innocent workers on the track. As he asked the class, if they were driving the car, would they divert course to another track where only one worker is working? And um, as a result, most of the students said yes, myself included. Um, this is because we hypothetically chose to sacrifice one person for the greater good of everyone. Then, Dr. Sandel changes the scenario and places the listener in an obser observatory role where he is watching the incident unfold and has the option to push a fat man onto the track, thus stopping the train and saving the five workers. Um, the result of this changed the opinions of the listeners because pushing the fat man likely went against our fundamental rights despite it providing the most good for the majority of the people. In conclusion, I believe the majority of students are more than willing to take the path where the most good is received by the majority of the people until the scenario questions the morality to the point that the majority of the people consider the scenario to be categorically wrong to sacrifice for the greater good of society due to their fundamental rights. Thank you very much for listening.